Hi guys, Dr. Wendy Dearborn here from the Laws of Attraction in Action. Gorgeous day here in Las Vegas. Beautiful morning here in Las in Las Vegas. Sun shining and it's been really, really windy here, but the wind has definitely died down and dissipated. Absolutely gorgeous morning. So guys, I hope it's all going well in your world. You can actually find me at the laws of attraction in action dot com and of course the group here the working group the laws of attraction in action so guys mm, today's title is a little off because typically typically complaining mm, complaining it might not get you what you want and I say might because there's a bit more to it than that actually one of my favorite um, hymns, gospel songs, whatever you want to call it is, I won't complain, you know, because at the end of the day, you do have hills to climb. At the end of the day, you may be weary. At the end of the day, you know, it may feel like the thunderclouds are, are hanging low over you and you can't even really see where you're going. But, you know, complaining, how's that going to help you? How will you complaining help you? Well, I'm a true believer that everything that you do has benefit in your life. Nothing that you do is for nothing. Yet everything that you do has benefit. And in order for you to experience the benefit, in order for you to know the benefit, in order for you to understand the benefit of things that go on in your life, particularly things that you don't like, things that are going on in your life, you have to make that choice to see. You have to make that choice to see what is in the, the, the center of what's going on for you. What is in the eye of the storm, if you will. So the power, the power in complaining. Yeah, there's power in complaining. You see, as an intrinsic coach, one of the things that is so important to me is that you know what it is that you are wanting. And when I, uh, when I work with people, you know, they say to me, well, you know, like Dr. D, I don't know what I want. That too is equally as powerful as knowing what you want. And I know I've said this time and time again, it is equally as powerful because what happens you flip the script on it. You know, I don't want to be broke, but make sure you define broke. Don't, don't, we, we use in the, in, in our language, we use a lot of colloquialisms to express what it is that we are saying, to express what it is that we are wanting. We use a lot of colloquialisms and sometimes it's really important while intention, intention is huge. But sometimes it's really important to say exactly what you mean so that there is no, no, um, mm, there is no, there's no doubt. There's, there's no play. There's no sort of guessing. There's no, mm, you know, what exactly does she mean? Sometimes it is so important, or more often than not, it is so important that you say what you mean. So as I was saying, you know, in, in what I do, not knowing what you want is as powerful as knowing what you want. Many people, many people, um, they will say, as I just said, they don't know, you know, I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want to do. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know this. I don't know that. That, when you flip the script on that, it gives you the antithesis. It, it tells you what you're wanting. Or at least it begins the framework of what it is that you are wanting for self. So complaining, we do this, we do this and we do this a lot. We do this and we do this with passion. We do this and we do this with anger. We do this with hurt. We do this with any and every emotion that you can think of. We use that when we complain. We use that to voice what we don't like. We, we use that to voice how we have been injured. We use that to, to, to voice what they should have done. We use that to voice that if I would have, should have, could have. Complaining is a powerful tool. This is my belief as to why we complain. You see, because 
in the center core or the central core of your complaint is the answer, is the solution to whatever problem you have, to whatever question you have. You know, I was in the bank um, a couple of days ago and uh, this lady was really, really, really complaining. She, I mean, she was really complaining and she was complaining because every time she goes to the teller, according to what I was hearing, they offer all these different programs. You know, would you like this credit card? Are you, um, are you uh, wanting to purchase a home? Do you need to look at a, a car loan? And you know, they're offering all this stuff. And she says, I just want to come in and do my banking. I don't want them to talk to me and blah, 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 blah. Well, in her complaint, and she was actually complaining fairly loudly, in her complaint, her solution was there. Her solution was there. And the solution is to find the type of banking in environment that you want to experience. To find the type of banking experience that you want to have. And at this juncture, I was in Bank of America. At this juncture, Bank of America wasn't it. And so when we complain about things, guys, when we complain about things, the answer that you're looking for is in the complaint. Again, complaining comes very natural to us. And I believe, I truly do believe in my heart, it's because the answer is coming to you. More often than not, no, more often than not, the emotional side of self, the emotional side of us, um, tends to um, overtake things. And as it overtakes things, we continue and it can spiral and snowball. So for you, it's about you putting the brakes on it. It's about creating mechanisms within you so that you can say, okay, I am really on a tear. I am going, moaning, groaning, complaining, bitching, whining, crying, the whole nine yards. At a certain point, it's vitally important that you do actually choose to say, and you can, you can, you can start this implementation process. You choose to say, okay, what's really going on? All right, what am I really complaining about? What am I really complaining about? And what is it that I want to happen as a result of this complaint? What is it that I want to stop? What is it that I want to start? What is it as a result of this complaint that I want to change? You see, because if you keep on complaining, nothing's going to happen for you. More complaints will come until you choose to do something different, until you and until you actually say to yourself, okay, uh, once again, and I'm repeating, okay, once again, okay, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really bitching, moaning, whining, crying, kicking, screaming the whole nine yards. I'm really doing this. What really is going on? What do I want to, what do I want to happen? You know, what do I want to happen? Well, I want, I want the husband and, and, and the kids to, to put their stuff in the dishwasher when they finished eating, rinse it off and put it in. That's what I want. And so guys, knowing, knowing how to deconstruct some of the internal, cause this year is about the internal conversation. So knowing how to deconstruct your internal conversation will support you in finding a pathway and that pathway to the things that you are wanting. So anyway, guys, I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. I actually, and I keep looking that way because I'm looking for my client. Um, but I, I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. You can find me at the Laws of Attraction in Action. If you haven't listened to the radio show, please listen to the radio show. You can find some golden nuggets in there. And let me just say this, guys, just so, so we're all on the same page. Whatever I'm saying to you is my experience. I'm sharing that. It may not be your experience. This might not be even something that sort of like rings your bell. If it resonates with you, you take this information and you ask self, how does this resonate with me? What am I wanting from this information? Can I use this information? Do I want to use this information? You take it and you do with it 
what it is that you want to do. This isn't about cookie cutter. And what I mean by that, it's not because I'm doing it this way that you do it that way. You have to take whatever you learn from wherever it comes from, wherever the information comes from, you take that and then you bend it. You, um, because information is malleable and you bend it and you stretch it and you work it, you mold it like clay, like the potter's clay. You mold it into what it is that you are wanting it to do for you. Bottom line. So anyway, guys, I see my client. She's getting out of her car. And so what I'll say to you is have an absolutely phenomenal, have an awesome day. And as a little sidebar here, I'm going to say this. If anybody asked me if this was the hairdo that I was complaining about, the answer is no. And if you literally ask me that question, I will unfriend you because I will be so offended. No, this isn't the Medusa style I was talking about. So outside of that, guys, have a brilliant day. I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. Until next time, guys. Peace. Bye.